We at Titan Tar Channel have an incredible surprise for you today about the small and reliable MiG-21. Don't miss the chance to join us, subscribe, like and share. Be a member of our channel. The MiG-21, known in the West as the Fishbed, is widely recognized as the most produced supersonic jet fighter in aviation history. Developed by the McCoyan Design Bureau in the 1950s, the MiG-21 was intended to replace the collision-prone MiG-19s. Making its first flight in 1956, large-scale production began in 1959, soon entering service. Throughout its remarkable trajectory, the MiG-21 achieved the distinction of being the most produced jet aircraft, with 10,645 units manufactured in the Soviet Union, in addition to 851 built in Czechoslovakia and India. This fighter was in operation in 50 countries, and even though it is considered outdated, it still continues to serve in around 20 nations to this day. The MiG-21, although it did not present radical innovations, represented an evolution of previous models, such as the MiG-17 and MiG-19. Compared to its predecessor, the MiG-19, one of the main distinguishing features of the MiG-21 is the adoption of triangular delta wings, in contrast to the swept wings of the MiG-19. Significant improvements to the MiG-21 design were mainly directed towards increasing its speed and weapons capacity. Despite its simplicity in terms of design and technology, this approach allowed for large-scale production, contributing to its extensive presence in several air forces around the world. The MiG-21's agility, even in the face of more advanced aircraft, has allowed skilled pilots to achieve notable victories over the decades. The MiG-21, equipped with an R-25-300 turbojet engine, boasted impressive performance characteristics. With a top speed of 2,230 km per hour, a single pilot crew, a service ceiling reaching 19 km, and a range of 1,225 km, the MiG-21 demonstrated remarkable agility and versatility in its design. As for armament, the MiG-21 was capable of carrying a substantial payload. The 23mm double-barreled cannon, located to the left of the cabin, was standard, equipped with 420 rounds. Furthermore, the fighter had varied options, including a range of guided air-to-air -air missiles, as well as unguided bombs or rockets. The total load capacity reached 2,000 kilograms, demonstrating its ability to adapt to different missions. In the 60s and 70s, the MiG-21 stood out for its high maneuverability, posing a significant threat to the most modern Western aircraft of the time, such as the F-4. A U.S. Air Force pilot emphasized the importance of approaching the MiG-21 with caution, highlighting its remarkable maneuverability. He noted that the main lesson learned from facing the MiG-21 was the need to address its agility before even engaging in conflict with the aircraft. This maneuverability contributed to the MiG-21's reputation as a formidable aircraft in the hands of skilled pilots. Over its extensive years of service, the MiG-21 has built a notable combat record, demonstrating effectiveness in diverse situations. Facing adversaries such as Pakistani F-80SIXS, F-104s, and MiG-19s, the MiG-21 displayed respectable performance, shooting down several enemy aircraft while suffering some losses. However, in engagements against highly trained Israeli pilots equipped with Mirage 3s and F-4s, the MiG-21, along with its less experienced pilots, ran into difficulties, resulting in several losses. In the Vietnam scenario, the MiG-21 revealed its true capabilities, standing out by shooting down dozens of American F-4s or F-105s, especially in close-range aerial combat, where its notable maneuverability and lower speed conferred a strategic advantage. Globally, the MiG-21 has solidified its reputation as a highly successful fighter, offering remarkable performance at a relatively low cost. After more than 50 years of service, the MiG-21 continues to show resilience, although it is gradually withdrawing from the active service scene. Despite advances in newer Russian fighters such as the MiG-23 and the even more advanced MiG-29, the MiG-21 has not yet been completely replaced. Many countries with restricted budgets continue to employ the MiG-21 due to a lack of more viable alternatives. China and some other countries have invested in modernized versions of this fighter, extending its useful life. When we consider the cost, it is interesting to note that the MiG-21, with a price of approximately US$35,000 in 1960, shows its financial durability. Even bringing this value to current times, 
estimated at around $300,000 for operation, excluding maintenance and fuel costs. The MiG-21 continues to be an attractive option for nations with limited financial resources. This was just the beginning of many other incredible content to come. Don't miss the chance to stay up to date and subscribe to our channel. Like, share and see you next time.